Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about um, fancy arched openings and door and window trim. So I got an email from an ArchiCAD user recently, and they were asking about how to make this arched opening that we're looking at right now. So arched on top and then sloped on the side. Where this comes from is uh, this image, which he was trying to reproduce for one of his projects. So let's look at how to do that. The first step is create um, an arched opening in ArchiCAD. So if you look at that, that's what we have right here. Um, what this is, is the um, arch top door uh, opening 25 in ArchiCAD. It's been around forever. You can set uh, what you want the top to look like and uh, what you want the sides to look like so you can you know fit with all that. So we create one of these, we did that. Next step is to place some columns and beams inside the opening. So what I did is I placed some columns, I placed a beam. Um, I got those all situated within the opening. So that's right here. Uh, you'll notice the blue line right there, the reference line. Um, I want that uh, on the back outside. That's going to come into play later. So now that we have this, uh, the next step is to make this top part arch. So we just simply take the click on the reference line. Hopefully, you get the right one right away with the palette come up, and uh, select that arch, and then we just slope it there. Now you'll see that there uh, there's some overlap, some errors there. Um, this can be dealt with by going to solid element operators operations, making the columns the target, being the operator, subtract, and we get that. And it all looks nice. But I'm going to do that because we don't care about that right now. Uh, because next steps are going to fix that. So next step after that is to get the slope in there. And so the way I did that, I'm going to right click, um, edit. Uh, I made a complex profile and I made it a, a triangle. Reference uh, point is right there in the back corner. And so we got triangle. So if we uh, go to our generic column, we change it from a square to a complex profile, and we pick that, so we do that. So we do that for both the um, column and the beam. And so once that happens, uh, we have our arched opening. Now, looks like we're about done, right? But there's still lots more we can do with this. So you'll notice that in this scenario, um, we have a bunch of lines. What we want is for it to look like this. So how do we go from here to there? It's simple. I'm going to separate these out so we can see what's going on. First, we're going to go to the arch opening. I'm going to Command T, get to its settings under floor plan and section. Under ganging, show wall contour side one and two. Let's uncheck those. Now, uh, we've got those lines missing. Next thing we want to do is go to our complex profile and um, edit that. And we're going to figure out which line is in the back. I know it's this one, and we're going to turn off the show cut line. So what happens is now we have a cut line along this face, along this face, but along this back right here, no cut line. Um, I'm not going to save that because I already have it set up. So what I'm going to do is actually just take these and change them from my step two to my step three, which has the contour line missing. So now I can bring those in. And now we've got the beam left. So let's take the beam and go to floor plan and section. Uh, down here under symbols, beam and lines both. Let's change that to none. And now now we got that. So that's all good. I'm gonna undo all that just so I have this for later. Okay. So now, so now we've got that. And now we could say, okay, we're done. That is exactly like that image. It looks great in section. It looks great in elevation. It looks great in plan. Um, we're good. Just, just so you know, if you want, you can you know make that curve, kind of whatever kind of crazy curve you want. Um, so that's that's good if you want. Oh, perfect. 
but we can go far than that. So the next thing we can look at doing is a more ornate shape. So what I've done here is I'm using a different complex profile. This one just has uh, more detail to it. So if we look at this in 3D, uh, there it is. It looks awesome. Now, um, it doesn't look as great um, at the corners. So this is where the solid element operation, um, I'm doing command or option O, that's my keyboard shortcut for solid element operation. So we have this target, uh, beam is the operator, subtraction with upward extrusion, execute, and now that that's just perfect you know um that line right there is a symptom of the curve geometry for a beam doesn't have as the same number of segments as the curve for the arched opening you can mess with some settings and try and remove that but um i'm not going to lose sleep over that okay so now we're done right no we can go farther so the next thing we can do is um, add more ornamentation to it. So what I've done here is um, I've added a segment into the beam, and now we can change what the um, the profile of part of the segment is. So we can get one beam that's starting to have a bunch of different shapes. Same thing up here. What I did is I created a segment in um, the in the arc. Let me just get rid of this segment here. So we have one segment here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add something here. And if I were doing this properly, I would do this in section or elevation so I could get this angle just perfect. But I've just added some segments. Uh, and now I can go into that middle segment and I can change it to like this keystone thing. And now we got that. But if we want to change how these bits connect, we can go to the joint and we can say segment join, let's call this 80 degrees, uh, and we'll call this other one 100, uh, 110, or 100 actually. Um, and we have to do 80 and 100 rather than 80 and 80 because. Um, just the way ARCHICAD is calculating, uh, we want them both to go in, right? Both, they're, they actually are opposites. Okay. So now we got that. So you can see we can do some cool stuff where we've got uh, a plinth, we've got a keystone, you could, go, you could go bonkers with this. Okay. So now we're almost done, because that's the extent of that. But... This technique is really great for doing weird arches, but you don't have that too often. Um, but what you do often have in ARCHICAD is uh, fancy door trim. And again, this is overall and extreme, but the concept is sound, right? So here we have that plinth. We have a fancy complex profile section, and then we have, um, and that's a column, and then we have the beam up here. And you put these in front of the door, and you get some really classical crazy trim. Imagine this being a lot simpler. You know, you're going to use that more if it's just a simple, like, you know, two or three piece rectangular section. Um, and then in plan, uh, it, it looks, it looks like that it looks great. Um, with this, so when doing the arch, the, um, reference line I find is good to have at the back corner that helps match the arch but if you're doing just like a uh, regular trim for a door you want to put that at the um at the inside of the door because that way the trim can grow out so again you can imagine if if this were um let's, let's just duplicate this real quick seven um You could imagine a piece of trim that's, you know, something more like that would be something that would be much more common you'd see. Anyways, uh, 
this video is already a little bit longer than I intended, as are all my videos. Uh, but there you go. That's how you go from an arched opening to a arched opening with a slope to really fancy trim to you know crazy segments, and then using all that information to create um, a nice uh, trim that you'd use on a kind of a more traditional craftsman or you know, some Italianate or whatever. Basically, trim you'd actually use on regular project more often than how often you come across some art stuff. So hope you learned something. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as always, uh, download the Shinome open template and the Shinome uh, work environment because that's how I'm doing all this stuff. That's the basis of it. Thank you very much.